What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about some of the biggest changes coming to console with update 30 and the Blackwood chapter release. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website along with a discount code you can use to check out is linked in the description as well. One of the biggest fixes, of course, that's not really something was that was supposed to come with update 30 but it just kind of happened is the fix here on console for the broken merchant and the craft bag the craft bag is still usable but it's very much a pain now to get through your craft bag but you can still do it and of course the issue when you sell items to a merchant they're all still showing there they don't ever disappear until you back out and come back in that should be fixed that was an issue that came up during one of the maintenances a while back i know we've had to wait almost six weeks for this to get fixed but hopefully with update 30 this will be fixed uh, one of the newer things that's coming with the Blackwood chapter in Update 30, of course, is a new tutorial system. So whenever you decide to make a new character, you'll have a new tutorial system that will allow you to choose where you want to start your adventure. So if you want to start in the base zones, if you own the DLC and you want to start in a particular DLC zone, you can. Unlike in the past when you made a new character, whatever the newest zone was, that is where you started automatically. Now you will actually have the option to go through different portals and choose where you would like to start your story. Uh, of course... One of the biggest things uh, this year coming to the Elder Scrolls Online, if you're a console fan, is the enhanced version uh, of the Elder Scrolls Online. So you'll have the enhanced version of ESO. It was supposed to release on the 8th. They decided to push that back to the, the next week on June the 15th. So it won't be coming out the day uh, Blackwood releases on console on June the 8th, but it will be coming out the following week on June the 15th. And of course, if you have an Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, or PS5, you will be able to get the enhanced version of that game for free, uh, of the game for free, as long as you already owned uh, ESO. And if you do not own ESO, ESO, you can buy the enhanced version, of course, after, you know, the enhanced version is released. I was really hoping I could find a new gen console by now, but sadly, I've not, it has not been the case. Hopefully, I can find one sometime this summer. I've been looking for a long, long time now, but I really was looking forward to playing the enhanced version here on console to see what kind of improvements the game has. But if you are lucky enough to have a new gen console, that is definitely something big coming out this year for the game. And one of the best things, in my opinion, is this enhanced version hopefully will help out with a lot of different things in game. Of course, uh, the new seals of the Endeavor. They're also being brought to the game with the Update 30 and the Blackwood chapter. Seals of the Endeavor will be daily and weekly uh, kind of, you know, just things you can do. There'll be a daily and weekly task. Once you do these tasks, you will get seals of the Endeavor. We're not quite sure exactly still how many it's going to take, but the Seals of the Endeavor system will allow you to buy things from the Crown Store without having to use real money or in-game gold to purchase Crown Crates. You can actually buy things from these Crown Crates, so whatever Crown Crate is available at that time, if there's something in there you like, you have enough Seals of the Endeavor, you can use those to buy them, whether it be just something basic within the Crown Crate all the way up to an Apex Radiant Mount. Uh, also, some other things that, or the other thing that I think that's really coming to the game that's big for console, that is action duration reminder being added in. Now we'll be able to see a timer on every single skill on both bars at all times. So no matter what bar you're on, you will have a timer on there. This will make it, make it a lot easier to know your rotations. Some timers, or some uh, abilities right now do not have timers on. I made a video about this a while back. I will link in the top corner if you'd like to check it out. But in short, the greatest thing in my opinion, coming to the Elder Scrolls Online with the Blackwood chapter is this for console. It is really hard to learn a good rotation, especially if you're new to the game, when you can't see timers on each individual ability. Now you'll be able to see all these timers on each individual ability on both bars at all times. Of course, there will be a lot of other things coming to the game with the Blackwood chapter, but these are some of the things I think that were really important for console. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.